hello everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to share with you how to make donuts the trending milky donuts and i'll also share with you how to make a very simple milky feeling for your donuts i hope you enjoy watching this video so please sit back relax and enjoy the video my name is Oge, and you're welcome to my kitchen let's get started I'll start by proofing my yeast and for that I'll need 1 tablespoon of yeast, 1 tablespoon of sugar to help activate the yeast and half cup of warm milk. I'll give that a good mix until they come together and then I'll cover with a clean film and allow it to rest for about 10 minutes. <music> I have two fresh eggs. I'll break and mix the eggs. I'll be using all-purpose flour for this recipe and I'll proceed to sieve 3 cups of flour. Mixing the donuts, I'll transfer the flour into a bigger bowl to give me enough room for mixing. And to that, I'll add a tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. I'm using just a tablespoon of sugar for this recipe because the milky filling will be super sweet. I don't want the donuts to be too sugary, but this is just my preference. Feel free to do yours however you like. I'll mix the dry ingredients before going in with my liquid ingredients. I'll add in my wix egg and also add the activated yeast. Thank you so much if you've watched up to this point. You're amazing and I'm truly grateful. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also share it to your family and friends. Thank you. After adding the activated yeast, I'll give it a good mix until I achieve a sticky dough. <laughs> of water and I'll be adding the water gradually. I added my margarine at this point and I continued mixing. Kneading the dough, I'll flour my work surface. This will prevent the dough from sticking to the work surface. And then I'll knead the dough until it is very soft, stretchy, and well combined. <music>
dough combined when you press in a finger and the dough comes back up this signifies that your dough is well combined i'll oil my bowl before placing the dough inside and i'll cover it and keep it in a warm place i'll allow it to rest for about one hour during this time the dough is expected to double in size and i recommend you use a big bowl that can contain the dough once it doubles this is me going back to check on the dough after about one hour and guys take a good look at that it's obvious that it doubled in size i gave the dough a quick punch to remove air bubbles and also to return it to its original size if you are coming across this channel for the first time hello a warm welcome to you my name is oge kindly hit on the subscribe button to join the family and also turn on the bell icon so you're the first to get notified whenever i put out a new video you'd love it here and subscription is absolutely free i'll need it though for a few minutes before cutting it into my preferred sizes hundred grams of dough putting into consideration the measurements i use in this video and also after weighing out hundred grams of dough i was able to get 10 portions of this dough i'll proceed to knead it for a few more minutes and then roll into small balls before placing on my parchment paper. and allow it to rest for about 45 minutes to one hour so this is what i have after one hour the dough doubled in size i'll add enough vegetable oil into my pan because i need enough oil to fry the donuts and then i'll allow it to heat up before going in with my donuts once i've added the donuts into the hot oil i'll regulate the heat to medium heat because i don't want it to be so hot that will make the outer part of the donut to burn while the inner part is undercooked and if the heat is too low the donut will soak up oil i'll keep moving it around so it fries evenly on all sides after frying one side for about four minutes i'll flip over to fry the other side <music> We are done with the first part of this video which is preparing donuts. Our soft and fluffy donut is ready. Guys, what do you think? It looks so yummy. Let me show you what it looks like inside. Moving on to the next part of this video which is to prepare milky filling for these yummy donuts. I will introduce you to the list of ingredients needed to prepare the milk filling. And I have my pig food cream milk. You can use any milk of your choice. I also have 3 crowns evaporated milk and condensed milk. 
I'll add about one cup of condensed milk into my mixing bowl. Add half cup of full cream milk and half cup of evaporated milk and I'll use my hand mixer to give that a good mix until it thickens up. each donut with enough milk i will ensure that every part of the donut is well covered with the milk i'll repeat this process for each of the donuts here this video and i hope you enjoyed watching try out this recipe and tell me if this donut lives up to the hype will you be trying it out let me know in the comment section please share this video to your family and your friends a lot of people might want to try out this recipe this is trending everywhere so please share out this video give it a huge thumbs up leave me your beautiful comments in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so Thank you for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next one. Bye!